Hey guys, back with another read aloud today. And as you can see, it's still Disney week. So I have my princess tiara or crown on and my shirt says teacher by day. But we all know that Miss Whaley truly is a Disney princess by night. So teacher by day, Disney princess by night. So today I'm going to read to you a book about helping because it is Olvaeus Wednesday, which means we really do need to go over some anti-bullying things. And one thing is helping others because we can all use a little help and we can all help someone else, help somebody in need. So we're gonna find that out today by reading Snow White Finds a Home. So this book goes after a little bit of the movie. If you've ever seen the movie Snow White, it talks a little bit about that and how she finds a home. So let's get started. And let's figure out how these seven dwarves and Snow White all help each other. Snow White Finds a Home, a book about helping. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Snow White. Everyone loved her, for she was kind and good. Everyone, that is, but her stepmother, the queen. The queen was vain and jealous. When you're vain, that means you think only of yourself. Is that very helpful to be vain and think only of yourself? I don't think so. Jealous, we all know what that means. If you're jealous, you want what somebody else has. She hated Snow White because, just because the princess was pretty. She made Snow White wear shabby clothes and she ordered her to scrub and sweep like a servant. Snow White didn't mind working, but she knew her stepmother hated her and she was afraid. Fun fact about the queen and Snow White, she doesn't have a name. We never figure out her name. We just know her as the queen. One day, the queen's huntsman took Snow White out in the forest for a walk near the castle. For a little while, she was happy. It's so nice here in the woods, she said to the huntsman. It's so peaceful. While I'm here, the queen can't see me or hurt me. The huntsman smoke, spoke up. You must go away, he said. Hide from the queen, for she means to harm you. Now run away quickly. Snow White ran deep into the forest. Soon she came to a rushing river, and there was no way to get across. Oh dear, said Snow White. I must find shelter. Oh, where can I go? I'm so frightened. She fell to the ground and began to cry. The birds heard Snow White crying and came to land on the trees above her. They watched the princess and they waited. Animals came from, from their hiding places in the woods. Squirrels scampered down from the treetops. Rabbits crept out of their burrows. Even the slow, steady turtle left his pond and came to see the weeping princess. After a while, Snow White stopped crying. She sat up and the animals came closer. They chirped and chattered and nudged at her arm. Suddenly, Snow White was not afraid anymore. You're trying to help me, aren't you? She said to the animals. She stood up and the animals tugged at her skirt. They led her down a path to a clearing in the woods. Snow White saw a little cottage in the clearing Perhaps the people who live in that cottage can help me, said Snow White. 
So there's the first time we see help. Well, the second time, actually, the huntsman helped Snow White by telling her to run. So simply just telling somebody something is a way to help them out. And now the animals, they're not even having to speak to help Snow White out. They're showing her something. So we can help somebody by telling them something, telling them information. We can help somebody by showing them something. Let's see what other ways we can help. She knocked at the door. When no one answered, she looked in through a window. She saw a dusty table and seven dusty little chairs inside the cottage. There were dirty dishes in the sink. There were cobwebs in the corners and crumpled clothes on the floor. Little children must live in this house, said Snow White. Untidy little children, poor things. They surely need help. Perhaps I can help them, said Snow White. What do you think Snow White can do to help them? I want you to predict. What can Snow White do to help these untidy children as what she thinks they are? So what do you think she can do to help them? What would you do to help them? You got your prediction? Okay, let's find out what, they, what she would do. I'll clean the house and wash the dishes. Then I'll cook something good. And when the children come home, they can have a nice hot supper. Snow White opened the door and walked into the cottage. She found a broom and set it and set to work. The animals helped her. A rabbit held the dustpan while she swept. A squirrel used his tail to brush the cobwebs from the corners. The chipmunks dusted the table. The badger picked up soiled clothes. Soiled is another word for dirty clothes. Dirty clothes. Remember soil? Remember in my y'all my students know in my class soil is what we call the um the dirt that we plant plants in and things like that. We've learned a little bit about soil. So soil is another word for dirt. Now dirt, these all dirty and soiled clothes, those are synonyms, dirty and soiled. So the clothes were soiled, that means they were dirty. After the house was clean, Snow White made a big kettle of soup. She put all sorts of good things in it. Soon the soup was bubbling on the hearth. What do you think a hearth is? If the soup was bubbling on a hearth. I want you to figure that one out on your own. Snow White went up the stairs to the loft, where seven little beds stood in a row. The beds looked soft and inviting. Snow White yawned. I'm so tired. She said, I think I'll take a nap. She stretched out across the three of the beds, and closed her eyes. In no time, she was fast asleep. While she slept, the sun went down. The woods grew dark, and the seven little men came marching toward the cottage. The men were the seven dwarves who lived in the cottage. They had been working all day in their diamond mine, and now they were tired and hungry. Anybody know the song the dwarfs sing on their way home? Hi ho, hi ho, it's home from work we go. Do 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 do. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, it's home from work we go. Oh oh. Do 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 do. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. That's the song that they sing when they're heading home. If you've ever watched the movie Snow White. As they came into the clearing, they saw their cottage. Look shouted one of the dwarves, a light, someone's in our house. Careful, men, warned Doc, who was the leader of the dwarves. We'd better sneak up on him, or it. Doc led the way into the cottage. The other dwarves tiptoed behind him. He lifted the latch. Carefully, he pushed open the door. The dwarves peeked in, and what did they see? They saw a fire making a cheery glow. They saw a kettle on the fire bubbling and steaming, as if it held something very tasty. Someone's cooked supper for us, cried the dwarf named Happy. 
Uh, 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 swept the floor, Sneezy said with a sneeze. And wiped away the cobwebs, Sleepy said, yawning. Someone's dusted the chairs, whispered Bashful. Grumpy scowled, goblins, he said, or witches. They did all this so's they could catch us off guard. It's what witches and goblins do. I'll bet they're hiding now, waiting to jump out and grab us. Courage, men, cried Doc. We're going to find them, wherever they are. The dwarfs began to search. Sleepy looked behind the door. Bashful peeked into the wood box. Sneezy held his candle high and peered down into the cellar. At last, holding on to each other, the dwarfs crept up the stairs to the loft. And what did they find? Not a witch or a goblin. They found a pretty girl taking a nap on their beds. Snow White awoke. When the dwarfs came in, she sat up and told the little men how she had found her way to their cottage. The animals helped me. She said, they brought me here. I can't go back to the castle because I'm afraid my stepmother, the queen. Afraid of my stepmother, the queen. The queen, said Doc. You should be afraid of her. She is a witch. The dwarfs decided on the spot that they would help the princess. They would let her stay with them, and they would keep her safe. Oh, thank you for help, all for helping me, Snow White cried. Dopey looked puzzled. Don't you know what helping is? Snow White said. Helping is doing something nice for someone. Something nice that that person can't do for themselves. You've all done something very nice for me, and I'm so glad I could do something nice for you. And she led them down to supper. Snow White soup was the tastiest meal the dwarves had eaten in a many long days. That night, there was dancing and merriment in the little cottage. The forest animals peeked through the windows to share in the fun. They felt happy, too. They had helped Snow White find a home with the dwarves. So, I want you to think of the many different ways that everybody was helped out in the story. So, we think about it. We have the huntsman who helped by telling Snow White something that was useful to her. She didn't know that she was in danger, but the huntsman helped her. Then, you had the animals who showed Snow White the way somewhere. Sometimes we don't know how to get somewhere or how to do something, and it's really helpful to show others how to get somewhere or do something when they may be confused. Another way to help, Snow White cleaned and she cooked. Now, we may not be able to cook yet without mom and dad's help or grandma and grandpa or aunt and uncle or some adult, but you can always help them cook. You can help them make a sandwich. You can help them. You can ask what you need to do to help. You can always clean your room. That's a big help. That means somebody else doesn't have to do it. And another way to be helpful is looking out for someone. Somebody that may not be able to look out for him or herself. Just like Snow White said. Snow White said that we can help others by doing something for them that they may not be able to do for themselves. So, instead of hurting other people or being mean, a great thing to do would be to be kind and to help it is always a great idea to help somebody. So I want you to think of some way that you can help somebody today, okay? Now, when you have some way, I want you to draw a picture of you helping somebody, or I want you to write, or I just want you to tell me what you did to help somebody today, okay? I cannot wait to hear all the helpful things y'all are going to do today. And also, I want you to help me out by go taking an AR test. <laughs>